Hi, I'm James, and in this video I'm taking a look at Rainbow Six Siege running on Intel HD 520 graphics. We are running this at 1366 by 768 and minimum detail settings. And first of all, what we're going to do is just take a look at the game's built-in benchmark. Uh, so this flies through a sort of scene in one of the house levels um, with some scenery destruction and sort of stationary AI characters. And what we can see here, frame rates, I think the average for this test was around about 33 frames per second. So we're looking around about 25% slower than Intel Iris 540 graphics for the same TDP. Um, that said, it's still over an average of 30 frames per second. The minimums in places do drop down into the 20s, so it's not going to be quite as smooth an experience. But it's still just about playable. Um, you know if you're playing this with friends or not on a high level um, and going as we can see here the results so some sections averaged under 30 uh, there were dips down into the mid 20s but going into a gameplay test here we can see we do hold pretty much around 30 frames per second through this um, there is some little fluctuation in places but it's averaging in around that kind of frame rate as we're playing through um, obviously if you're playing competitively against people with higher specification machines they may get something of an edge in terms of response times and reactions just because they've got those better frame rates um, they may well they will also have a little more in the way of visual fidelity but if you've got a ultrabook and you want to give rainbow six siege a go um, then it will run, um, it will be playable on Intel HD 520 graphics. It's not the best experience you could have with it, but you can play it. I hope you found this video useful. If you'd like to see more from us in the future, be sure to hit the subscribe button. We've got plenty more videos we're sure you'll enjoy as well, looking at gaming on other platforms. And support us on Patreon if you want to have your say on what we test in the future. Thanks for watching.